Welcome to Chapter 2 of our story, where the digital sun sets over a vibrant virtual town. Here, a group of friends stands at the threshold of a haunted house, its facade alive with flickering lights and shadows that dance like restless spirits. The air is thick with the scent of damp earth and the faint echo of laughter, a haunting reminder of the joy that once filled these spaces. Join us as we delve into this thrilling adventure, where insecurities loom like specters beside our characters. Stay tuned as we explore the mysteries within. As Lila and her friends step inside the haunted house, the atmosphere shifts dramatically. The whimsical colors of the town fade into muted tones, and the laughter morphs into whispers that beckon them deeper into the darkness. Lila, feeling the pulse of the house beneath her touch, brushes her fingers against the cool, peeling wallpaper. Here, she encounters the spirit of an artist, a figure trapped in a canvas of regret, seeking closure for a masterpiece left unfinished. This moment is not just about confronting a ghost but about facing the weight of her own insecurities. Marcus, ever the skeptic, stands at the threshold, his sharp blue eyes scanning the room for signs of trickery. Yet, as he steps inside, he feels the weight of expectation pressing down on him, a reminder of the pressures he faces in the real world. The spirit he encounters is a tech-savvy ghost, its form flickering like a broken screen, desperately trying to communicate its last project, a digital creation that had never seen the light of day. Marcus feels a kinship with this spirit, both of them grappling with the fear of inadequacy. Meanwhile, Jasmine wanders into a dimly lit corner, where the air grows colder, and the shadows whisper tales of loss. She encounters a spirit that embodies her deepest fear, the loss of loved ones. The spirit, a motherly figure, holds tokens of memories, each one a reminder of the connections Jasmine fears to lose. As she listens to the spirit's story, Jasmine feels her heart ache, realizing that her fear of loss has kept her from fully embracing the bonds she shares with her friends.